guys, Liv here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today has been a very long day. I've had a presentation. I've trained legs with Jake, as you guys just seen now as well. We hit some 100 kg pause, uh, pause rep squats. That will be later on in the video because I haven't done a walkthrough, a good old-fashioned LSJ sort of commentary as it gets called. So I haven't done an LSJ commentary for a while. That will be coming later on in the video. For now though, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in so far. Drop the video a like, sit back, relax, grab the popcorn, give it a like, give it a share, give it a comment. Let's get it started. Right, so this video is kind of going to be like a little bit of an update as to how everything is going, whether that's like LSJ fitness, whether that's PT stuff, whether that is dissertation work, whether that is just my life and the channel in general. This is going to kind of be a little bit of a update, shall we say. I feel like I've been vlogging and I've, had, I've been to Amsterdam and all that kind of stuff. It's been Christmas, I've just been doing walkthroughs, so I've not really told you guys exactly what I've been up to and exactly where I'm at in terms of my dissertation and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I had a presentation earlier on today and as you see from the title of the video, we will get to that a little bit later, but for now, let me just give you guys a little bit of an update. Right, okay, so I've got my laptop and if I just move all my shit out of the way, I'll kind of get this out and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about with my dissertation because, I mean, some of you might be thinking, Liam, that's just coursework, like you're a uni student, yeah, you've got a dissertation, who gives a f but my dissertation is actually centered around the gym and so it's pretty cool. I'm not going to show you too much for confidentiality reasons, but the person I'm talking to is Natalie and as you can see, I sort of need signatures and all that kind of stuff and here is just a bit of information about what I'm going to be doing on the dissertation because Natalie is actually in charge of the gym and so she is basically the kind of decision maker as to what I can do in the gym, what I can, what I can use the facility for, the kind of questions I can ask and you know the people that I can use. So I can't actually get anywhere without her signing this. I've spoken to her today and so that is a kind of update on that. I'm ready to start my research. Another thing I had to do today was this presentation here. It's just pretty much a poster and I actually, it's kind of cool, I got to talk about homework and how um, it can affect how homework can actually be detrimental but also a benefit and you kind of had to present sort of both sides of the argument would say how it can be a good thing but also it's very important to mention how it can be like a bad thing as well and you know so both sides of the argument to hopefully get sort of the best grade possible. So that is an update on the kind of education side of things. I'm gonna get showered up and have some dinner and then I'll give you guys a little bit of a chat about the workout and my day as a whole today. Okay, this is coming quite a regular occurrence, me drying my face and doing this. Anyway, next update is gonna be my weight. As you guys know, I'm on a lean as I can keep it book. It is actually Tuesday the something, some 16th of January. That makes it 16 weeks since I first started the book. Now, as you guys know, the goal was to put on 0.5 pounds a week for 22 weeks. That leads me up to March 1st to then lose 10 pounds back down to body power and get me to around about 175, 176 pounds. Much leaner 175, 176 pounds than I was last year. So that means that I started at around about 174.5, I think it was. So the goal right now, with it have been 16 weeks, 0.5 pounds a week is eight pounds. That means that's 174, 175. Around about 181 and a half. So let's say 182 pounds. Just editing up this video and my maths is completely, uh, completely wrong. It's around about 182.5, 183 pounds. So it'll make sense in a minute. Back to the video. And I actually weighed in this morning. I didn't get it on camera because, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know why. So when do I never carry my camera? I weighed in this morning at 183.2 pounds. And that pretty much means that I'm like 0.6, 0.7 pounds over. But that's okay. And the reason I say that is because I had chili last night. Now, I know that. I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah, what difference does that make? But I know my body well enough to know the fact that if I have chili one night, then I'm going to be around about three quarters of a pound heavier the next day so the, the, to be honest guys I, even after the Christmas period and everything like that I'm bang on track and I'm very happy with sort of you know 
the results I'm making, just looking at myself in the top camera there. I've hit my 100kg bench press, my everything is progressing every single workout the way it should be and I still have abs. Check my Instagram if you haven't seen that. Crazy, right? Crazy, right? So that is the complete body physique kind of weight update thing. On to the next one. Alright, so the clip that you guys just saw was myself and Charlotte having a pizza for dinner and we also had some sweet potato fries which I didn't manage to get a clip of. Uh, we were having that as a celebration for me completing my presentation and it's bulking season, we wanted a pizza, so um, we had one. Also check out how sick all of my lean stuff looks at the minute guys. I've got pretty much a full, if I put everything that I had right here, it would fill the entire thing, but I've got some muscle mousse and then some other shakers, which to be honest, I think I'm going to throw away because they're just kind of clut cluttering up what is already a small space and I want it to look like a nice kind of clean thing that I can take pictures of and, you know, to use to promote lean. Speaking of which, if you guys were looking to pick any lean active supplements up, you can use my extended discount code only until the end of January and it is 25 Liam and so that is an extended 15% so 25% total instead of just the regular 10% until the end of January so if you have anything that you want to get then get it now. Use the code 25 Liam, link will be in the description box and there is plenty more to come so stay tuned and follow all their accounts and all that kind of stuff always linked in the description box guys. Next update is going to be the LSJ emblem, wait a minute, joggers. Now, I answered this question in the Q&A saying I don't really know when I'm going to be bringing these out, but um, I've kind of, I've reached the point where I kind of know and it's going to be within the next two weeks because I've taken pre-orders, got a certain amount of stuff that I've already sort of sorted out and kind of needs to be shipped in the next couple of weeks. So I've emailed the supplier making a small order, a very small order, and I'm thinking about doing it in the next two weeks, but that depends on the turnaround because obviously it's, it's a local supplier and so he has lots of other things to deal with. It's not like it's a big massive company that can just pump out products like on a daily. Again, as I said in the last video, and I always say, stay tuned on my Instagram because that is the place where I give the most up-to-date content because I post every single day without fail and more often than not that will be with an update on some sort of life update like this video that will be sort of a PT update whether I'm doing more online training deals uh, whether I'm doing you know new release dates new products and stuff like that because sometimes I don't even mention it on here I just kind of build the hype on Instagram and then just let it flow from there so if you aren't already, then follow my Instagram, lsj underscore fitness, and that will be the best place to get the most relevant updates. I do stories, I do posts, every single day I post videos and all that kind of stuff. I find that to be a little bit better, shall we say, to give updates because people don't necessarily check YouTube every single day. I don't upload every single day on YouTube, but I do upload every single day on Instagram and I do find myself checking Instagram every single day and I know other people do as well. So, without rambling on any more, Let's get to the topic of today's video. Another thing you guys might be wondering and something that is gonna be the last update of today's video is my upload schedule. Now, basically, I don't know quite how to say this really. I probably should have thought of this before I started this clip. But anyway, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna keep this raw, right? I have been testing YouTube's algorithms. I've been testing out different upload times for the past sort of Two months, I would probably say two to three months since I've come back to uni. I have been testing, sort of not all the time, but every now and then testing YouTube's algorithms. And by that, I pretty much mean finding out what YouTube wants in order for them to promote you the most. Because at the end of the day, for me to spread my message, to build my business as well and as efficiently as possible, I have to do exactly what YouTube wants me to do because then if I do that, they're gonna promote me more. Because the way YouTube works is on a sort of ranking system. If your video is a certain length, if it has a certain amount of interaction in comparison to the amount of viewers, then you're gonna get pushed up that ranking order and then once you type in, sort of, if you guys type in home gym tour, my old home gym tour will come up because it's one of the most interactive videos about a home gym on YouTube, it just is. And so that is how it works in sort of like a ranking system. So, I have been pretty much testing out different titles, whether you need capital letters, tags that I would use on the video, time of the video, whether you schedule the video or whether you just post it, and that, 
Ladies and gentlemen, that to me has been the biggest thing I've noticed. Scheduling videos, YouTube doesn't seem to like it. And so the whole foundation of my channel, the whole consistency series, uploading twice a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday at 8.30 a.m., YouTube doesn't like that. YouTube doesn't like sort of the consistent algorithm, you're sticking to this routine, whatever you want to do sort of thing. YouTube seems to prefer it when you just upload. So you can upload at midnight and get more views and a more interactive video than if you schedule a video a couple of days in advance and you're nice and structured and planned and everything like that. YouTube seems to prefer if you just randomly upload a video at say midnight. This is backed up by not only my experience, but someone else who you guys might have heard of, I'd be very surprised if you haven't heard of him, Max Tuning. He uploaded every other day at 2 p.m. at his time, wherever he's from. He uploaded every single day for like four years, and he grew a massive following. But in the last sort of six weeks or so, he's not done that structured every other day at the same time, and he's just uploaded, let's say, three times a week at a random time. That has made his channel explode. I don't know the full ins and outs of it, obviously. Nobody does, and that is the problem with the YouTube algorithm. Nobody knows what the f is going on. Everybody is just trying to figure it out and doing whatever they think is best. This, at this point in time, is what I think is best because, as you guys know from the last video, the Q&A, that was uploaded the day after. I mean, generally speaking, I get sort of one sub a day, maybe one to two subs a day, brand new people coming to the channel. Welcome if you are still tuning in to this video and I thank you. But what I'm trying to say is that when I didn't upload that Sunday, like my usual routine, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, seven new subscribers. That might not sound like a lot, because it isn't. In the grand scheme of things, that's teeny, teeny, tiny. But, in comparison to my usual one to two subscribers a day, that's nearly four times the amount. And so something clicked, something switched in the algorithm when I didn't upload, and then I just randomly uploaded on the Monday. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this video. It's not gonna be live at 8.30 p.m. It's not gonna be live at 8.30 a.m., sorry, not p.m. I always upload at 8.30 a.m. But not anymore. I think for the next few weeks, what I'm gonna do is try uploading still on Wednesday and still on Sunday, but not scheduling the video, actually just uploading it off the bat, completely random. So, let me know your thoughts. I know there's gonna be a lot of creators, a lot of YouTubers watching this. Comment your thoughts on that down below in the comment section. I'll be very happy to hear about that and get a conversation going because, let's be honest, we're all trying to figure this out together. So. That is going to round off today's update video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Hopefully you didn't find it boring because I've been in the flat the entire time. But that is going to conclude it. Leave it a like if you did enjoy it and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Together we will grow in 2018. As always, remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.